Let's factor the equation x squared plus 8x minus 20 equals 0. The first thing we do, we set up a skeleton equation, like this right here. Once we have that, we can add the signs. So we have the last term here is negative, negative 20. The last term is negative. We're going to put a positive and a negative in our skeleton equation, like this here. Next, we want to look at the factors for the last term. That's the negative 20. And they should add up to the middle term, the 8. So let's write the factors for 20. So if I look at the factors here, the difference between 2 and 10, that's 8. So some combination of 2 and 10 in here, that should work. We want a positive 8. So let's put the 10 right here and then the 2 right here. And then we can check our work with the FOIL method. Multiply the first the outside, the inside, and then the last. When we do that, we get, and we can combine negative 2x and 10x. That gives us the 8x. So we have x squared plus 8x minus 20 equals 0. That's what we started with. So we factored the equation x squared plus 8x minus 20. Let's take a moment and find the values for x that will make all of this 0 or all of this 0. 0 equals 0. That's a true statement. So we could say x plus 10 equals 0, x equals a negative 10, and then x minus 2 equals 0, so x equals 2. If you put 2 in for x here, you do the math, all of this will equal 0. Likewise, if you put negative 10 in for x here and you do the math, all of this equals 0. If you were to use the quadratic equation, you would get these same numbers here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 8x minus 20 equals 0. Thanks for watching.